Hey podcaster, I'm Tim Auburn, your podcast performance coach, with another actionable tip so you can sound like a pro and gain more podcast fans. Today's tip is how to put your podcast on pause. Why would you want to take a break from your podcast and deprive your listeners from your brilliance? Well, there are a number of reasons you might want to take a break, and summer is a big one. The kids are around more, meaning there are a lot more distractions. Your schedule or your listener's schedule may have changed a bit, which may change commuting and listening habits. You've got trips planned or have visitors coming for weeks at a time. You could be moving and may need to rebuild your entire studio. So summer might be the right time for a break if you're not already months ahead with your podcast. But you know me, I'm always telling you to think about your listener. That means a break might come at a different time other than summer, depending on your podcast. If you're a seasonal podcaster, like you host a baseball podcast, you might want to break during the off-season. Skiing and gardening podcasts call for a natural break in your listener's activities, so doing it when your listener takes a break makes sense. This may also determine how long your break is, too. In my opinion, your break shouldn't be more than a couple of months. Anything longer, and you risk them not returning because they've gotten a taste of what life is like without you, and they've gotten used to it. That's why you always ask your listener to subscribe to your podcast. More on that in a second. If you've got a storytelling podcast like Serial, then there is a natural conclusion which can determine your breaks, so that's an easy one. Another reason for a break from your podcast is to reset things. Maybe you want to change the format of your show. You might consider interviewing guests or bringing on a co-host or rearranging segments. Stepping away from your show allows for your creative juices to start flowing again and come back with a fresh approach and new energy. So how do you pull off a break? Tell your listener you're going to take a break. Don't just ghost and disappear. They may never know when or if you're ever coming back. You can tell them in your last episode. I'd make sure to mention it off the top and at the end of it. You want to mention why you're taking a break and how long it will be or when you're planning on returning. Another way to do this is in a short episode of its own an announcement episode, and it only really has to be a minute or two long. And if you've had some time to think about your break, you can include when you'll be returning and if you know what your listener can expect when you return. You can also take this opportunity to ask your listener what they want to hear more of or less of when you start up again. It's also the perfect time to remind them of some of your favorite episodes of the past that they may have missed. Mention your top three, your top five, and don't forget to tell them what they'll get out of them by listening. And most importantly, remind them that subscribing is the best way for them to be notified when you'll be returning. So make sure that they hit that subscribe button. If you're going to do an announcement episode, try to fit that info into the title of that episode. Like using the words, last episode for a while, or we're taking a break. Remember, it will be at the top of your list or the latest episode in most of your podcast listings. And then you can delete that episode when your break is over. Now, I know a lot of you have a podcast that is directly linked to your business. So let me ask you, does your business take a break? Should your podcast then? That's entirely up to you. Maybe there is a slow season in your business that might allow for a break, but the worst thing you can do is to stop doing what you normally do and dribble out lame content to hold over your listener until you start up with the really good episodes again. This is a surefire way to lose listeners. If you have sponsors, you have to consider them too. That might mean a loss of revenue for a while. Communicate with them this could be a perfect time for a renegotiation. So if you're thinking about taking a break from your podcast, weigh out the benefits for you and your listeners to help you decide. And remind your listener to subscribe. The last thing you want your listener to do while you're on a break is to start clicking around on you. They might wander off and find another podcast with fuller lips and better hair. 
And I hope that's just the tip you need. Hey, have you subscribed to Just The Tip yet? You need to subscribe right now. Press the subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. <laughs> what do you mean I sound desperate? Just, just relax. Hey, but before I go, let me ask you, is there a topic you'd like me to address? Are you struggling with how to execute something when it comes to your podcast? Wondering why something isn't working for you? Email me or hit me up on Facebook. Reach out through my website at podcastperformancecoach.com. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Tim Walbert. See you.